Let's learn about noise pollution today. Sounds are everywhere around us. We wake up to an alarm clock. Your cat meows. But sounds sometimes reach a volume that is harmful for people and animals alike. If sounds get too loud or last too long, they become noise pollution. For example, noisy bombs and fiery crackers. Sound is measured in the units of decibels and is denoted by the dB. With extended exposure, noises that reach a level of 85 dB can cause hearing loss. Let's see some sources that cause noise pollution. Transportation. Loud sounds from airplanes and helicopters. Vehicles on road constantly make a lot of unbearable noise that results in pollution. Household sources. Few gadgets like food mixer grinder, vacuum cleaner, washing machine, music systems, etc. can be sometimes very harmful. Social events. Places of worship, discos, parties, and some other social events also create a lot of ear-splitting noise. Industrial activities. Powerful sound from big industries, printing presses, construction sites, etc. contribute to noise pollution. Natural events. Loud noise of heavy rains, earthquake, heavy roaring sound from animals, fast wind, volcano eruption, etc all cause noise. Noise pollution can result in anxiety, hypertension, tinnitus, hearing loss, sleep disturbances, and other harmful effects in humans and animals. We should always follow some tips for prevention of noise pollution. Planting more and more trees is a very good way to reduce noise pollution, as plants absorb sound. Machines with blatant noise should be installed far from locality. Noise of jarring horns, noisy trucks and motorbikes with damaged pipes should be banned. Noise-producing industries, airports and railway stations should be little far from the residential area. Misuse of public announcement systems should be avoided. There should be silent zones near schools, colleges, hospitals, etc. Everybody should follow these steps to control noise pollution. Please drop a like. Leave a comment, share the videos, and don't forget to subscribe. Our app, Learning Junction, is available on Play Store. Bye-bye.